Hello and welcome to a narrated video tour for 65 Morningfield Lane in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia in the area of Russell Lake. Just going to do a quick 360 here. We are right at the bulb of the cul-de-sac. So nice and quiet. Great for kids to play, for example, basketball that you can see there. Hockey in the wintertime or road hockey. Just a great spot, nice and quiet. There's really no reason for anybody to come down here unless they live here. And these are all executive townhomes. We are in close proximity to downtown Dartmouth. Downtown Halifax is either just across the harbor via the ferry or the bridge. And it's just a great spot. You have lots of local amenities, parks, trails, schools, walk, uh, walking paths, uh, ocean, access to the ocean. Just a great, great spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk around the exterior uh, sort of outside in the front first. We will end up in the backyard and we'll go through the entire property. So this is a three bedroom, two full bath, two half bath townhouse, an executive one. It's lots of upgrades throughout and I'll show you that in a moment. And uh, like I say, it's just great. The tenant is responsible for paying for utilities, which is natural gas, power and water. And I'll be uh, further explaining that when we go inside and we have estimates for some of those utilities in the ad itself to give you an idea from a cost of living perspective. Okay, for, for the outside of the property at the front of the house. So we have a combination of uh, vinyl and brick is the exterior. You have a single longer um, paved driveway there. So that's my truck in the driveway. So just like you can see with some of the other driveways, it depends on the make and model of your vehicles. You could be able to fit two vehicles uh, front to back there. So that's no problem. It does have a single detached garage there that we'll see when we go inside. And now let's walk up to the front door. So all of the windows are vinyl. It's not that old at all, it's only a few years old, so it's in great shape and it's a beautiful property. All right, just walking up to the front door, and what I'll do is I'll just turn right around so you can see once again a view of the street. So that's where we just were just a moment ago in the cul-de-sac. And there's lots of walking paths uh, connecting different parts of the subdivision. It's really, really nice. All right, so in we go. So this is what you see when you walk inside. It's all solid surface flooring with the exception of the uh, Berber carpet, which is on the staircase. So there's your entry. So this door is going into the garage. You have your first half bath right here. Stairs going down to your fully finished basement and walk out to the backyard. Stairs going up to your bedroom floor and then it opens right up into your main living area. Now just step right over here. So there's your entry system. So you can see that it's got some nice glass inserts there, lots of natural light. And you, when you come in, uh, the first thing you step on is going to be a ceramic tile. Here is your coat closet. So for shoes and coats, that type of thing there. There's your shelf and rail. And I just have some belongings there that I take with me when I'm shooting videos and whatnot. All right, so let's go ahead and go on inside. We'll go to the left first. I'll just pop open the garage door. So as I said, single car garage. There's the garage door. There is an automatic garage door opener right there. And uh, there you go. There's a little bit of debris there. Just the landlord is in the process of removing that as well. And you can certainly fit, again, depending on the make and model of your vehicle, should be able to fit one in there as well. And that is on slab, so it can bear weight. No problem. Directly across the hall from that door is your half bath, like I said. So there's your pedestal sink, your mirror, your light, and your toilet and that is on a ceramic tile. So as we enter into the property now it's, it's going to start to open up. So there's your staircase again going into the basement going up to the uh, the second floor which is your bedrooms and whatnot and this is the only carpet that you're going to see in the property. This sort of area and we'll see that more when we go inside. So then it opens right up. So the natural gas supplies you with uh, it's a natural gas furnace I'll show you that downstairs and you also have a few ductless heat pumps there and the heat pumps are a, a forced air system and they are able to extract heat uh, during the winter time uh, till around minus 10 or 10 degrees or so, depending on the make and model. And so they're extremely efficient. That is one of the most efficient ways to heat and you get air conditioning by default in the summer. So they're super to have, and it's a forced off air system. So it's gonna blow air towards us. So there's one right there. And then there's one upstairs in the master bedroom. So as we start to go into the main living area towards the back of the property, we open right up into the kitchen. Again, that's where we just came from a moment ago. And there's your kitchen. Upgraded appliances, beautiful backsplash, wonderful dark, hard, dark wood uh, cabinetry right to the ceiling. And then you have a cooktop there and you also have a breakfast or lunch bar here, raised bar, and it's all granite, granite for the most part. And you do have a butcher block area just right there. I'll be going into the kitchen in a moment. 
and there's your sliding door going out to your raised rear deck and you also have a um, flagstone patio down below so we'll be showing you that and then you have a nice nice big window here facing the backyard and these are custom shutters so they move and they the louvers go up and down and of course you can open and close and there's our first view of the backyard so there's a walk out through the basement there's the raised rear deck we're going to be walking on in a moment and then the flagstone patio that walks down and you also have a vinyl shed there so for storage and whatnot and this is your view from your window very nice and i'll turn right around so there's your dining room area once again your kitchen and your living room area perfect all right, so let's take you, we'll continue along. We'll just jump outside, do a bit of a circle. So here's your raised rear deck. You do have natural gas uh, connection right there. So if you wanted to have a natural gas um, a barbecue, no problem, it's all ready to go. So there's the rear patio. Once again, the view from the patio and overlooking the backyard area that we just saw a moment ago. Very pretty. Turn right around. And now we'll head back inside. Let's close that up. So this is your dining room area, sort of designated by the light fixture. So we'll walk around that. And now we're going into the kitchen. So you have a standalone island there, multi-level, beautiful countertops, and there's your butcher block. So you have some storage underneath the island as well. This is your perspective of this sort of open area from in the kitchen. And then we'll go through the appliances. All Everything's included in the rent that you're seeing. So there's your upgraded fridge. You do have a propane gas, or sorry, a natural gas cooktop right there. Microwave range hood unit just above it. There's you have your stainless steel sink with upgraded faucet, built-in dishwasher, and then your wall oven right there. Just beautiful, an absolutely beautiful kitchen. And once again, there's your upper and lower cabinetry with these tile stone backsplash and granite countertops for the most part. Very, very nice. Lots of upgrades. All right, so that's your main floor. So now we're gonna be going upstairs now. So going up the Berber carpeted staircase. And now we go up to our main floor and this is three bedrooms, two bathrooms, both full bathrooms and your laundry. So that's where we just came from a moment ago. This is facing the back of the property, so that's your master suite. We'll be going there in a moment, and I'll open all these doors up. So there's your laundry, your washer and your dryer, your uh, primary bathroom, and then you have an ensuite bath in there. You also have a linen closet here, and then you have two additional uh, bedrooms right there. So we'll start there first. So these are overlooking the street, so all hardwood flooring now. Two big vinyl windows overlooking the street in the cul-de-sac where we were a moment ago. Turn right around. Nice neutral paint colors throughout the property. There's your closet. I'll open that up in a moment. And that's where we just came from. So let's open up the bifold closet doors. So hardwood goes all the way through. And then you've got multiple shelves and rails all the way through. Good amount of organizers there, which is super. We'll continue on. Going into the second bedroom now, also facing the cul-de-sac, facing the street. And you can see these radiators. So this is a hot water uh, boiler system and it's fired by natural gas. We'll, we will see the boiler when we go downstairs. Another bank of vinyl windows overlooking the street. And we'll turn right around. Larger, that, I believe that's a larger closet. And again, where we just came from. So let's open up the closet. So hardwood floor again, all the way through. And just like with the last closet, multiple levels and shelves and rails. Perfect. And with this type of furnace, it's zone heating. So typically you're going to have a zone per floor, per level. All right, so now we're gonna be going to the left. There's your washer and your dryer, which are included in the rent. So there we go. All in good working order. And you also have a shelf and a rail right across the top for uh, soap and whatever else you'd like to put in there. Directly across the hall from that, we have a linen closet. So there we go, and that goes right up to the ceiling. And you have multiple shelves, which is super. Okay, so we are leaving the hardwood floor. We're going back to a ceramic tile. So this is a full bath. So there's your vanity, your toilet, your mirror, your light. And we'll just 
open up the door there and there's your one piece acrylic shower tub combo super easy to clean and maintain upgraded shower head there and there's your rail just for your curtain itself perfect okay so let's go into the master suite we're going towards the back of the property now again we're back on a hardwood floor goes all the way through nice big window there facing the backyard there's the second ductless heat pump we're going to see the condenser when we go outside so we have one on the main floor and one in your uh, master bedroom which is great nice big room we'll go over here and just turn around so window facing the back area or backyard so there's your ensuite bath we'll be going into and your walk-in closet again we'll be going into that as well and that's where we just came from so this bedroom is really big so you should be able to fit any type of bedroom furniture king size bed no problem so I'll show you the view from the double bank of vinyl windows. So once again, there's the backyard. Now we'll go into the ensuite bath. There I am. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and we're going from transitioning from a hardwood to a ceramic tile. So there's your nice long, large vanity there with solid surface countertop. It looks to be uh, granite. So there's your mirror and your light. You also have a window in this bathroom, which is great for natural or for fresh air and natural light. And we'll just turn right around and you have a, a nice looks probably uh, a good size i'm not sure if it's i think believe it's um either a four or six foot uh, acrylic shower with a sliding glass door and a seat which is great see that right up. and you also have a light in it as well and there's your shower super nice come home from a hard day especially in the winter time sit on that little bench there in the little seat let the hot water roll over your shoulders what a, it's it's an awesome awesome thing to have in a home all right so that is the main or the secondary floor or the second floor oh i forgot the walk-in closet let's go here so again we have hardwood floor going through and then you have multiple shelves and rails on most walls and that's the attic access just right there all right, so that is the second floor. So now we're gonna be going down into the fully finished basement, which also provides you with a walkout access to the backyard. And we'll go into the backyard as well. All right, so now we're going into the lower level. Again, fully finished. On carpeted staircase right now, Berber carpet. And now we're into the lower level and I believe there might be carpet on the in the rec room so my apologies it's not just on the carpet or in on the staircase it's also in one other room so when we come downstairs so there's the staircase we came down that's actually a storage room lots of storage in the property and an entire room dedicated to it we also have storage under the stairs right here there's another half bath that's the final bathroom continuing down so this is going down towards the side of the house and then you take a right to go to the back that's your utility room and this is your rec room with the walkout to uh, to the backyard so we will continue down the hallway right here so we have some storage so i'm on a laminate floor right now some storage under the stairs a little bit of odds and sods for the property and leftover building materials here but of course you can use it for storage and this is your storage room which is great so your entire room for storage and that is the municipal water access so that's your main water meter there so it's fully finished and you can use it as a den or an office if you want but a lot of people use it for storage as well so that's super now we'll go in and i'll show you the last bathroom and it is the second half bath so this is a laminate going to a ceramic tile once again so there's your vanity your mirror your light and just turn right around and there's your toilet all right, so now we're gonna be going towards sort of the rear of the property. But first we'll go into your utility room. So open it up. So they're going to back to a ceramic tile. There is your uh, natural gas boiler right here. There's the different zones. So you can see, and there'll be a thermostat on, in, in each area for each zone. So there's your top floor, your main floor, and your basement. You also have a central vac system right there. And all of the attachments for that are right here. They're all in good working order. These are all your different natural gas runs for the house. You can see that there's boiler, barbecue, uh, the range and whatnot. Some of them are in, are in use, some of them are not. There's your electrical panel. So everything's in good shape, nice and labeled, good working order. Close that up. And you also have a dehumidifier. We live in Nova Scotia by the water. It's beautiful here, but it does get damp. So it's great to have a dehumidifier, which is super. You just have a little shelf there for storage. And this is your telecom panel. So uh, there is um, a Cat5 drops throughout the house. 
there's going to be a splitter. You're going, there's also some ceiling speakers throughout the house. They've never been used. They are there. So you're going to have wiring here for that. So if you had your receiver here, then you could pipe a, uh, music throughout the home and there's independent volume controls in the different areas where those speakers are and a whole variety of other different things. So this is sort of your telecom hub, which is probably why this, uh, this shelf is there. Oh, and pardon me, this is your air exchanger. So fresh air in, stale air out, uh, a, a great uh, great upgrade. It's a necessary, it's building code for all newer homes. So just uh, it adds, and it also helps control the humidity in the house. So that's great too. All right, so now we're gonna be going into the rec room. So we're gonna be going down the stairs here, a couple of stairs back onto a Berber carpet. And then we have access to the backyard right here. And a nice big room, tall ceilings, more speakers here. And these speakers uh, more than likely, I'm not sure if they're routed uh, back to that room. I believe they might be or not. So there's meant sort of, it's set up to have a wall mounted TV there. So this is your center speaker or your channel, your right and your left, when you have a receiver for watching movies or whatever, and that would be your rear right there. And again, they've never been used. Uh, you're welcome to, to hook them up if you would want, but it's, uh, you know, they've never been used. We'll just leave it there. Okay, so we all assume that they work. Go right over to the corner. Nice big vinyl window there facing the backyard. Next, we're gonna be going out that door to the backyard. And again, there's a the staircase we were just on. So now we go up to a flagstone patio. Now, this is the uh, condenser for the heat pumps. So that will that will turn on and that will again provide you the most economical form of heating and air conditioning that you can get in our province, which is great. This is the backyard itself, so flagstone. So nice and easy to <laughs> maintain. You just sort of move in and enjoy a little bit of grass that you'll have to cut. And of course, shovel the snow too. There is the little path or stairs going down to the shed. We'll go down there in a moment. I'll just go over to the corner here. So you can see the back here, there's the window and the door we just came through, and there's the back of the property right there. And there's the, the raised rear deck we were on a moment ago. So I'll just take you down here. So this is a great little outside storage option. Go down the stairs. Just open it up. So vinyl shed. And you have some outside storage area here. So great. So a great spot in Dartmouth, newer area. Lots of amenities around you. Sorry, I'm just kicking a boulder there. Lots of amenities around you, nice and quiet, and uh, just a great, great spot, executive townhouse. So my name is Chris Ryan. I'm a property manager here in Halifax. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video or you would like to view this property, please contact me. My phone number is 902 830 4465. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.